Microsoft plans to use next-generation nuclear reactors to power its data centers and AI ambitions. It has posted a job listing for a principal program manager to lead its nuclear energy strategy. Data centers use a ton of energy. Nuclear technology can provide the clean energy required for the company to hit its climate goals. Microsoft is specifically looking for someone who can roll out a plan for small modular reactors. OpenAI is reportedly in discussions to sell shares. The sale could boost its valuation from $29 billion to over $80 billion. Employees will be allowed to sell existing shares. OpenAI said in late August that it expected to reach $1 billion in revenue this year. BloomX, an Israeli tech firm, has created a plant pollinating machine that works by dislodging pollen. The mechanism is similar to how bees pollinate plants. Bloom X aims to reduce farmers' dependence on commercial honeybees. Bees are said to account for 75% of the pollination of fruits, nuts, and vegetables in the U.S., but their populations are under pressure due to climate change, habitat loss, and the use of pesticides. A real-time 3D map of the world is the holy grail of Earth observation. Such a map would enable new applications and technologies and improve climate monitoring, disaster response, construction management, and urban planning. It could confer significant strategic and economic advantages to whoever possesses it. This article looks at Array Labs, a company that thinks that it is time to build the map and the technology required to build it. Cloud Development Environments, CDEs, are spiking in popularity. This article looks at why CDEs are trending and what startups should look for in the space. CDEs are gaining popularity because code bases are getting larger, monorepos are getting more popular, laptop power is plateauing, connections are improving, and due to remote work. If the industry continues on this trend, most developers at large and mid-sized tech companies may be building software on remote machines within two to three years. John Carmack says that the present state of AI might only be possible due to his work on Quake as the game sparked the demand for GPS. Visro is a toolkit for creating modular data visualization applications. It enables users to create customized dashboards in minutes without the need for advanced coding or design experience. Visro supports configurations written in Pydantic models, JSON, YAML, Python dictionaries, and more. Extensions are available. The FTC and 17 state attorneys general are suing Amazon, claiming that the company illegally maintains monopoly power. They claim that Amazon uses a set of punitive and coercive tactics to unlawfully maintain its monopolies. The lawsuit aims to hold Amazon accountable for its practices and restore competition. It could result in the breaking up of the company. Amazon claims that the lawsuit is wrong on the facts and the law. This hacker news thread discusses how to navigate the startup space as a solopreneur. It covers how to sell a one-person team, setting appropriate milestones, marketing, raising funds, and the importance of location. Being on your own brings unique problems. For example, the company's success and existence depends entirely on one person, and that increases risk for potential investors. Some investors might see a one-person company as a red flag as they may question why the company hasn't hired any employees. Apple says it made Google the default search engine because it believes it was the best choice. Large companies have some motivation to innovate, but also a strong disincentive as well. As innovation risks undermining existing products, Bun started with a clean slate and it can make decisions that Node doesn't have the luxury of making. A recent drone video shows new Cybertrucks coming out of Gigafactory, Texas. The video is available in the article. Bob Smith will remain with Blue Origin until January 2nd, after which Dave Limp will take over. There's a huge opportunity to develop the user experience for multimodal AI. 